Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I'll show you how the dynamic data feature of Oxygen works. Dynamic data allows you to link design elements created inside Oxygen to data from your WordPress database. So I have a blog post template here, applies to all of my blog posts. Let's edit this with Oxygen. And what we want to do here is link a heading element in this blog post template to our blog post title. So to do that, double click the heading text to edit it, click insert data in the top toolbar. And from here, the dynamic data dialog box will open and it shows you uh, the many different options you have for inserting dynamic data. So let's set the heading to the post title, choose insert, and now this heading will always display the title of the post. So whatever post is being rendered with this template, the heading will display the title of that post. Now let's go ahead and add in a post date. So double click the text to edit. Again, click insert data and choose date. We have options for a PHP date format. I'll leave that blank to use the default. Click insert and we've now inserted the date. We can put text around and before and after the dynamic data. So I could type in, for example, posted on, and I'll show posted on date. Let's center everything to make it look a little bit better. So in addition to inserting dynamic data into a text-based element, you can set a property value in Oxygen to dynamic data. Certain properties support dynamic data. For example, imagine we want to set the section background image to the post featured image. We can go to advanced, background, and click the data button. Whenever a property can be set with dynamic data, a data button will appear on the right side of the input box for the property. So we'll click data, and now the dynamic data dialog box opens. Instead of showing all the available text fields, it shows the available image fields. So let's set this to be the post featured image. And we can choose a size here. I'm just going to use the default. And now we've inserted the post featured image as the section background. Let's go ahead and make this look a little bit better. Tint it darker. And we'll make the text in here white just so we can see it. And this background image will now be updated with the real post featured image, depending on the post we are viewing. Okay, let's go ahead and add in the post content. So in addition to adding a text-based element like text or heading and using insert data, we have shortcuts for some common dynamic data elements. If we go to add, WordPress, dynamic data, we have shortcuts for the most common elements like title, content, date, categories, tags, etc. Let's go ahead and add in the post content. And here is our post content. Uh, next up would be to add in a comment form and comments list. So we have elements for that in the WordPress section, not necessarily dynamic data, but something that you would commonly use alongside the dynamic data elements. And then the last feature I want to show in this video is how to use dynamic data that isn't shown by default in Oxygen's box. So if we click insert data, we have a lot of options like post title, content, custom fields, etc. But what about if you have some option that you need to use that isn't supported here? And to use that option, you choose PHP function return value type in your PHP function name, and the value returned by this function will be set as the value of the text element. Okay, thank you very much for watching.